According to her new driver's license, she's a he. What's going on here, Wayne? Patty, it's kind of puzzling because, well, on many driver's licenses, there's no designation for male or female, but there is on Florine's, and the original mistake was only the beginning. Please understand, Florine is a good driver and has never even been stopped. I'm particularly glad she wasn't stopped in the past few weeks since her new driver's license arrived. They had sex as male <laughs> instead of female. I've been driving for over 50 years. So I proceeded to call Pittsburgh, photo centers, and I got a different answer no matter where I went. So they made a mistake. I assume that's how this all began, and nobody faults anybody for making a simple mistake as long as they're willing to correct it. But what do you suppose they wanted Florine to do to correct their mistake? I had to send them a birth certificate, a letter from my doctor, and documentation from a court which substantiate your change of gender. <laughs> and what does husband Andy make of all this? Well, I hope she's a female because after 49 and a half years, uh, living with her, she must be a female that I know of. You know that occasionally people do falsify their driver's license so that they can uh, go into a drinking establishment in case they're carded. You know, are you underage, perhaps, and you're trying to put one over? Yes, I'm real underage. <laughs> under the age of 80. <laughs> <laughs> over 70 and under 80. Okay. <laughs> well, what do your records show about Florine? Is she a man or a woman? My record shows that she's a man. So... We have to get into that computer. Yes, but if I'd stop her and and uh, you know and I would I would check that block and it would say male and I could see that she's a female, I would definitely contact Harrisburg and, and uh, straighten it out myself. Several other corrections are also needed uh, besides the gender. Uh, they apparently think she's quite short, doesn't see very well, and there seems to be a problem with the social security number. Oh, they're really goofing me up, really good. You know, I wonder how many officers would be as nice as Sergeant Okopal about this. Hopefully quite a few, but I called Harrisburg, too. They don't know how it happened, but they will correct it. So hopefully Mr. Ter I mean, Mrs. Terrick won't have to worry about this much longer, Patty. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least Florine looks like she has a sense of humor about oh, all she, this. She's wonderful.